welcome back to the channel so today i am doing my 37 and 38 week bump day so i was supposed to do my 37 and 38 separately but um it just didn't happen that way so um i did choose a winner i did um notify the winner of the giveaway from last week um i can't think of her name off the top of my head so i will go ahead and put it on screen at uh, 37 weeks um i did have to get an ultrasound done and i did have to get i had to get an ultrasound done and i had to get monitored um i went to the, my doctor at my 37 week um appointment and they told me the baby um just wasn't moving how they liked when i described how much i feel her move they said that they weren't feeling that so they wanted to send me to the hospital for a non-stress test and an ultrasound i went to the hospital after lots of probing and prodding and um you know wiggling her they gave me some ice chips and lots of peanut butter and jelly not peanut butter and jelly, lots of peanut butter and crackers. And um, she started to move then, even though when we did the ultrasound, we did what we did first. We saw her, her heart was beating fine. We heard her heartbeat. Um, they still just wanted her to wake up a little bit. So that um, was a stress, that was a relief of stress because that made me nervous. <laughs> um, uh, 37 weeks, I, other than that, I really didn't have anything. I was just really ready to have her. Um, other than that, there was really nothing much going on. Nothing different, really. Um, off to 38 weeks. Um, she started moving much more regularly after that. But at 38 weeks, um, my hips have gotten much worse. Like, I can't even sleep. Um, in the bed, I have to sit up and sleep because I, my hips just, they go numb. I've had major swelling at 38 weeks. Um, my diet has not changed much, so I don't know why I'm having so much swelling. My blood pressure is normal at my last, um, at my 38 week checkup. It was normal. Um, I'm just getting major, some swelling in my hands and in my feet now at 38 weeks I did have a doctor's appointment which was my last doctor's appointment they asked if I want if they want me to check you know if they wanted a cervical check I told them no because really I knew with my c-section only a week away that they would not um, I mean I would have to have been like 10 centimeters and I hadn't had any contractions that felt to get me 10 centimeters so that was that um up until like i think i was like 38 weeks and four or five days five days i started to get some contractions some steady contractions but they just were not very painful um i ended up going to the hospital nothing um i was not dilated they did a cervical check then i wasn't dilated or anything so they did send me home which really sucked um, I was really disappointed because, of course, like I said, I only had like four or five days left before um, the C-section. So, it was really annoying. <laughs> and this is a little bit of my 39 week because this happened two days ago. I went to the hospital for my pre-op. And at my pre-op, um, they what they do for your C-section is they... Um, of course you get all your pre-registration in and then they draw blood and then they gave me this um bracelet to wear that i have to keep on until the surgery on thursday which is really kind of quite weird to keep a bracelet on that long but um yeah so they did that and that took they gave me the rules and that took all of 10 minutes so this is the paper that they gave me. I'll read it off to you guys. Um, my C-section is scheduled on Thursday, 
November 10th at um, uh, 1 p.m. but they want me there at 11 a.m. so um, the night before surgery they do not want you to eat or drink anything including gum hard candy water etc after midnight which will be fun that I won't be able to eat for like 15 probably 14 hours that's gonna suck uh, do not do not smoke tobacco products or drink alcohol for at least 24 hours before surgery I'm like I thought you weren't supposed to do that at all during pregnancy but okay um, and it says take any medications you usually take unless your physician tells you not to take them the morning of your surgery, take a shower or bathe with an antibacterial soap. You may brush your teeth, but do not swallow any water. Do not wear cosmetics, which kind of sucks because I for real like was like, oh, I'm going to get my glam on since, you know, I ain't got to push or nothing like that. But uh, yeah, no. They said no cosmetics. Even though I'm going to have to put a BB cream or something because this skin is, no ma'am. They said no nail polish jewelry including your wedding band please leave all valuables at home you may wear your eyeglasses i don't wear eyeglasses or contacts and it says um take only the following medications with a small sip of water so and they didn't write anything so yeah no and it says bring a copy of your advanced directive i don't have one of those um, and then it tells me in the triage preoperative area, you may have one person only come with you to the pre-op area and into surgery, which clearly will be my husband. And it says space is limited in the waiting areas. Whenever possible, please have family members plan to wait at home until at least three hours after your scheduled surgery time before coming to the hospital to visit you please leave your suitcase and infant car seat in your car until you are transferred to your postpartum room so um yeah that's the instructions i was given your hospital might be different so of course you just don't go off of what i'm saying but that is the instructions i was given for my hospital this is like my last bump day I want to thank you all for watching um I'm just so thankful like we're almost up to 100 subscribers and that's really all off of baby videos and I just want to say thank you guys um I hope you guys have enjoyed watching and that you'll continue to watch as I show her updates and getting bigger and her birth story and stuff like that and I just I'm so excited to be able to um look back on these videos when she gets older and see what she put me through um so this is my last bump day it's the last belly pick um that I will I mean you know that I'll show on a bump date so yeah thanks so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video Bye.